Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is good. Uh, everything here is great. <clears throat> That's not true. This virus is atrocious. Uh, avoid it at all costs. I'm wrecked. Some of you commented on how I felt last time I had this. I honestly don't remember. I just know it wasn't this bad. I remember it just being kind of more of a head cold uh, with a loss of taste. This is like achy, terrible, fevery, just whatever. I took yesterday off of work and basically stayed in bed all day. Uh, the girls are here, so I can't do nothing because, you know, there's, there's no sick days from being a parent. Uh, we considered having them go back to their mom's house, but uh, if they have it, they shouldn't do that, right? Like, they should stay here and quarantine through all of this with me. So they're just kind of hanging out in their space, and I'm hanging out in my space. I wear a mask when I'm around them, that sort of thing. Uh, I'm miserable. I am working today. I have a client that screwed up their, their instance of our... Big, big software, and I'm the only one that knows how to fix it or can fix it without serious difficulty. So I'm working through that process. It's not their fault. They didn't do anything wrong. It's just that uh, <clears throat> the way this system is built, there's not a lot of checks and balances. There's not a lot of, uh, there's zero tests. There's, you know, it's 20 years of code with absolutely no tests. The test is go try it and see if it works. And, uh, in this particular instance, they did something that the system allowed them to do because it was, you know, what it was told to allow them to do, but that broke multiple other steps in the process. It all comes down to database configuration type stuff. So I'm fixing all of that and trying to make sure that, you know, it's one of those problems that it's almost impossible for me to programmatically find uh, because of the way this database is built. Uh, for those of you that are programmers, I will tell you that an instances database is roughly 250 tables, and of those, I know of six of them that have foreign keys, but they're not defined as foreign keys. They just happen to be foreign keys. Uh, And there is a lot more cross-linking than six tables. <laughs> there is almost every table should have foreign keys, but it doesn't. So it's kind of one of those things. It's I don't even know how to begin writing tests for this. I have no concept of how that would even look. I mean, I guess I could pick this particular topic as as a starting point and start working through what might affect that you know based on this and try to put that into some sort of list that I could start writing tests for I mean the ultimate the, the real fix would be implementing foreign keys and the migrations that would be involved in that I have no clue how to achieve right I guess just one little piece at a time until it works It's overwhelming it's overwhelmingly big uh, so the point of that is, I, mean, I didn't mean to get on a tangent there. I'm still very, very sick. I I still have some ache, but not like yesterday. Yesterday was whole body aches. I still have a headache. I have a lot of drainage, but I'm functioning. I'm doing work. My boss today was like, you should take the day off. You look horrible. When we, we met on camera today on, you know, whatever, uh, whatever. Um, and I was like, I, I, I would, but I got to get fixed this. I can't tell these people they have to wait a week they're trying to do work and it's not their fault you know so <sighs> M has it now I mean she's not taking a test I don't really see the point in her taking a test pretty sure it's what it is she's got full body aches and drainage and feels like crap so she's been laying in bed today hopefully the kids stay f away from it uh my youngest has some sniffles, but we tested them last night and nothing. 
So uh, they have stuff to do this week, so hopefully they're okay. But uh, I feel like a turd for bringing this on us, but here we are. You know, I think this is the future, right? This is the new flu. I can't remember the last time I had the flu. Never ago? I don't know. I have no concept of that. Maybe 10 years ago? I've now had this thing at least three times, maybe even more. Oh well. It's pretty bad. That's all I have for you. I'm going to go rest and finish work today. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is metastasize. It is a verb meaning the tendency of cancer cells to spread from a tumor throughout the body. Byron's ugly nature quickly metastasized in our group as he spread lies and gossip among more and more of our social contacts. Metastasize. M-E-T-A-S-T-A-S-I-Z-E. -E. I like how in the definition they particularly call out cancer metastasizing. And then they and then they link Byron uh, to cancer. They, you know, he's cancerous to their group. <laughs>